Oi, my name is Sabrina Rujo, and today I'm giving you the top 10 things you should know before traveling to Greece. As a fellow traveler myself, most of these tips are actually things I would have liked to have known before my first trip to Greece. So if you're trying to have a smoother and more informed trip to this beautiful country, stay tuned. Number one, non-potable water. So in the Greek mainland, water is usually drinkable in most cities, like Athens, but on the islands like Santorini and Mykonos, their land is not water sufficient, which means their tap water is no bueno. The islands have to carry water with a tank that most of the time accumulates water from the rain, which is only good for bathing or doing the laundry, but definitely not for consumption. So without a doubt, water bottles will be your best friend on the Greek islands. But if you're on the mainland, it's most likely okay to drink the tap water. Number two, staying at a dope Airbnb is cheaper than staying at a hotel. Greece has a bunch of super cool and cheap Airbnbs if you just spend some extra time searching for the right spot. Honestly, on Airbnb, you'll definitely get the best bang for your buck. For example, I stayed at this Airbnb in Santorini, which was just a five minute walk from the Black Sand Beach. And this place is actually a hotel that you can also book through other third parties like Booking.com and Priceline. But because I booked it through Airbnb, I stayed here for way less money. So for only $28 a night, I got my own private balcony with a killer view, a small kitchen, three beds, and a bathroom, and it was walking distance to the beach and all the cool spots. Only $28 a night? Yes, please. And here's the crazy part. This same hotel starts their nightly fees at around $90 through other hotel booking sites. But because I booked it through Airbnb, their price was lowered so it could match up with all the other cheap Airbnb competitors. All you have to do is just a little bit of research. If you actually want to get free $40 off your next Airbnb trip, just sign up with my code or click the link in my description box below and you legit get free $40 off any Airbnb booking around the world. Pretty dope. Number three, many places only take cash. This is one of the huge factors as into why you should always carry cash with you while traveling to Greece. Depending on where you are, many restaurants, kiosks, and other establishments will only accept cash payments. So always ask your server before you order if they take card payments. But in case you don't have any cash with you, finding an ATM won't be a problem. Which leads us to number four. There are ATMs pretty much everywhere. This was a huge convenient matter for me since not only were these ATM machines easy to find, but their conversion rates from US dollars to euros were way better priced compared to the ones I had back home in the US and the conversion banks at the actual airport. So ATMs were my go-to. And honestly, they pretty much have an ATM in every corner. Number five, eat like a local to pay like a local. Sounds pretty obvious, but we seem to forget about these things when we travel. Touristy spots will always have the most expensive food. And why pay more when you can get just the same kind of food but for a cheaper price? I know it can be super tempting to eat at that cool restaurant right next to the museum or right in front of the beach, but you're gonna be paying around five to ten times more for your food at these fancy spots in comparison to that low-key restaurant that is honestly just a five-minute walk around the corner. Number six. Greeks smoke everywhere, even in restaurants. Greece is a smoking country, so not only do Greeks smoke all the time, but most restaurants, bars, and cafes actually let people smoke in their facility. In fact, they have a cigarette ash thingy in the middle of basically every table you see. Even though smoking is technically prohibited indoors in Greece, most of their outdoor spots were also sort of indoors, so they basically just smoke everywhere. Number seven, bring a plug adapter. In Greece, the power sockets are of type C and F. If you're coming from the US, for example, none of your plugs will work unless you have an adapter. So make sure you buy a type C plug adapter beforehand since it'll probably be cheaper to buy it online for example rather than buying it in Greece. I'll actually leave a link for the right kind of plug adapter in the description box below in case you want to check it out on Amazon. Number 8. Most establishments will let you charge up. Just ask. 
So this was something I was sort of obligated to test out while I was in Greece because I stayed out all day using Google Maps, taking pictures, videos, and so on. So throughout the day, either my iPhone or camera battery had to be charged up. So every time I would eat at a restaurant, I would kindly hand them my charger with the plug adapter already attached to it and ask them if they could charge it for me. Although there were some establishments here and there that got super confused and maybe thought it was a little bit weird, but they all still helped me out in the end and charged up my things. Number nine. You need an international driver's license to rent out vehicles. If you're visiting from USA, Canada, Australia, Switzerland, and a bunch of other non-EU countries, you need an international driver's license to legally rent out any vehicle, including those super cool ATV motorcycles that people usually rent out on the islands. Number 10. For emergencies, dial 100 for police and 166 for hospital care. Knowing which numbers to call in case of an emergency is always important while traveling abroad. Hopefully you'll never have to use these numbers, but it's always better to be safe than sorry, so please make sure to write them down and memorize them just in case. So it's 100 for police and 166 for hospital care. And that's it. Those are the top 10 things you should know before traveling to Greece. Make sure to share this video with all your friends and family who want to travel to Greece or even if you're trying to drop someone a hint that you want to go to Greece with them, send them this link. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Ciao! Or as the Greeks would say, Yasu!